Welcome to the Privacy Mentor Podcast, your partner in the fight against identity theft, fraud, and cyber threats. I'm your host, Carrie Kursky. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Privacy Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Carrie Kursky. Technology, I don't know why, but for some reason, it's increased our dependence on having others do for us what we should do for ourselves. So for example, fraud protection. Every bank and credit card website promotes fraud protection. There's even commercials on TV. Remember the one? It was fraud protection, frog protection, like hopping frogs. Anyways, I digress. (laughs) But the big thing is they tell you, you won't be responsible for fraudulent transactions in your account because we're monitoring it for you. Well, I have two problems with this. First, There are federal laws in place that protect you from fraudulent transactions in your bank and credit card accounts as long as you report it to them by the required date. So it's not like this fraud protection they're doing out of the goodness of their heart. It's a federal law that makes them have to do it. But second, and most important, when companies make this claim, it makes you think that you don't have to do anything. And this couldn't be further from the truth. It is impossible For a bank, credit card company, or any other app or company to catch all fraudulent transactions. It's impossible. In order for them to do that, they would have to notify you every single time there was a transaction and they would ask you for confirmation. And eventually you'd get sick of it and you stop ignoring it. Well, the reason they'd have to go to that extreme is because these companies, they don't know what's normal for you. Yes, they implement AI or artificial intelligence to help them look for patterns. But here's the thing. Patterns can change and fraud can appear to be normal. Most often when bad guys are doing fraudulent transactions, the first couple, they're going to look like things that anybody else would have on their credit card or anybody else would have in their bank account. Every once in a while you get these random things, but a lot of times we see people have the fraud and And the bank never caught it because when you look at their history, it's right in line with what they normally do. So sometimes the criminals can make fraud look normal. The result of this, when there's fraud in your account, you get mad at the bank or the credit card company because they didn't stop it or detect it. How dare they? They're telling me they offer fraud protection and they're monitoring my accounts, but yet they let this go through. I'm going to close my account and go to another bank. Well, they're all the same. The one you really should be mad at is you for trying to outsource the management of your finances. It's your money. You should want to know what's happening in your account. For some reason, people today, I don't know if it's either because we're getting lazy or we just can't be bothered with reconciling our financial statements. I I don't understand that. But that's a huge mistake because you are the best person to determine what is legitimate and what isn't. Only you know you. It's your account, and it's your money. I'm asking you to take a moment and consider what tasks you've outsourced for convenience. Ask yourself the following questions. First, is it crucial? Well, if it is, handle it yourself. Number two, can I do it myself? If the answer is yes, then take the time to do it. Otherwise, you're going to be taking the time to try to recover from an issue later on down the road. Taking a few minutes now will save you a heck of a lot of time down the road. But if the answer is no, and you don't know how to do it yourself, well, I'm sure there's a video on YouTube that'll teach you how to do it. Or if not, you can ask a friend or a family member. Don't be embarrassed to ask for help. It's your money, your privacy. It's time to take control. The third question What is the worst that could happen? If the answer is lose your money or something else that's as important as that, consider if you're willing to accept that risk for that few minutes of convenience. If not, do it yourself. Let's stop depending on companies to do for us what we should be doing for ourselves. Take back your independence and reclaim your privacy. Thanks for joining me for another episode, and I hope to see you back here again. Until then, enjoy time with friends and family. If you're going to be taking time off to celebrate the 4th of July, our Independence Day, and I will see you back here for another episode. 
Thanks for joining me on another episode of Privacy Mentor. Don't forget to subscribe on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere else you listen to your favorite podcast shows. If you love the show, please share with your friends and don't forget, give us a five-star review.